Hey, I'm Juan Esteban Garcia, and in this exciting video, I'm going to show you how you can drastically reduce the amount of time that you spend chatting and communicating with your customers on WhatsApp by using something very powerful called a chatbot. I'm going to show you a new way in which you will be able to create a chatbot for your business. It will be pretty easy. It will be super fast. I will show you how to do it quickly. And on top of that, I'll show you a step-by-step -step how to do it from scratch. Let's get started. Okay, before we get started, I actually want to spend a few moments explaining to you the concept of a chatbot. And most likely, if you're watching this video, it's because you already know what it is, but I don't want to leave anyone out. I actually want to make sure that if you are a beginner, you actually know exactly what we will be building here. And so, basically, a chatbot is just a bot that handles your communication with your clients. And so most likely you are familiar with the concept of an autoresponder. And let's say that, for example, if you have ever called to a bank or to an airline or to one of those big companies, and like not even big companies, there are actually a lot of companies that use some of these technologies. And for example, if you call to a bank, you will notice that every time that you do it, there is an autoresponder that picks up the call, that answers your question and it says something like, hi, this is bank of blah, blah, blah. A type one, if you want to speak with an assistant or type two, if you have an inquiry about whatever. And essentially we're going to build something like that with the difference that we're not going to do it over a phone call, but instead we're just going to use WhatsApp. And this is like, this is really, really powerful. And I want you to know that this is something that not a lot of businesses are leveraging right now, because as I said, in the beginning of the video, this is a new way in which you are able to use something called the WhatsApp Business Cloud API. And this is a very, very powerful API. I actually have a lot of videos here in my channel talking about those topics, explaining to you what it is. But in this video, we're going to focus specifically on how to build a chatbot. And so a chatbot is something that you actually need in your business because it is a 24-7 employee. It's always there working for you it never goes to sleep it never gets tired it never asks for a raise it never asks for any vacations it's always there handling all of your communication and so without further ado let's actually get started now that we know what a chatbot is i actually want to show you how to do it and we are going to use a very powerful tool called wasapi Okay, so as you know, here in the channel, we like to cover real use cases and real life scenarios. And so essentially what I want you to help me visualize and what we will be doing in this video is that I am a restaurant owner. Let's pretend that I am a restaurant owner and that I have a restaurant called Wasapi Flavors. And let's say that I'm having a lot of troubles handling the communication with my clients because if someone wants to place an order and someone texts us and sends us a message, as you can imagine, that person is not going to be very patient and usually like they just they will just wait for a few minutes and if I don't get back to them on time, they will just go and search for another restaurant and place an order in a different place. And obviously we don't want that. We want to make sure that we give to our customers immediate communication and that at the very least they are able to see real feedback in real time. And so with that in mind, let's build a chatbot. And as you can see here in my computer, I am here in this screen and you see that this is a interface that lets me create a new bot. And by the way, before we do it, I just want you to know that we already have a phone number here and that we already created an app. All of this is covered in different videos and also here in WhatsApp documentation. But let's just go straight to the use case that we're interested in here. And so I'm going to create a bot. And the first thing that it asked me to enter, it's a, a name for a bot. And so in this case, I'm just going to call it WhatsApp flavors. This is something that nobody will see. This is just for us. And so feel free to be created and put here whatever you want. And here I, hit, I have to enter a description. I'm just going to put my super bot. Create bot. And the first thing that you're going to see is that, well, the, the bot is here, but I actually want to tweak some of the settings before we start creating the different answers and the different messages that we are going to uh, use in our bot. I'm just going to show you here that we have some settings. And so the first thing is that 
I want to tweak this because uh, whenever someone types an invalid message, I actually want to set something like invalid message. And the keyword that we're going to use to return to the initial message will be menu. Every time that someone types menu in the conversation, they will just go back to the, to the like initial message in the tree. And I actually want each session to last 30 minutes. So let's say that, for example, uh, well, you see here that if a message has not been sent in this period of minutes, so in this case, it will be 30 minutes, the conversation will be restarted and the welcome message will be sent whenever the user sends a new message. So I'm just going to leave it as is, but feel free to change it if you want to. And now let's get our hands dirty. And so you see here that by default, it says here, saludo inicial. And by the way, uh, like this is, in, this is here in Spanish, but let's actually change it to English. So welcome message, because as you know, the, like we record the same videos, both in English and Spanish. And so, and so, yeah. So you see here that I just put welcome message and here, this is going to be my welcome message. And so I already spent some time here writing this and I'm just going to paste this and you see that basically all we're sending is, well, let's actually change it to flavors. Welcome to WhatsApp flavors. Please pick one of the following options. So the first option will be C menu. The second one, restaurant hours and location and place order and place order. And so you can actually change this and you can put whatever you want here. But I think this is, these are probably some of the frequently asked questions and like uh, things that people usually ask about. And so I want you to know that there are actually different ways in which we can do this. And so in this case, and, and this is by far the easiest way to do it is by adding interactive buttons. And so with a button, nobody has to type anything. They just tap on the button on their phones and they will be able to see uh, the next answer in the tree. I'll, I'll show you more of that in a second. So I'm going to create a button called C menu, uh, another one called say restaurant hours. And the last one will be place order. I'm going to click update. All right. And I think that's it. Let's actually give this a try and see if it works. So I'm going to click back. And even though my bot is already created, I haven't enabled it yet. So let's do that now. Done. So you see here that I have my WhatsApp window and I'm going to type something like hello. And you see that it does work. And here it gives me the menu. Well, actually not the menu, the, the welcome message that I showed you a few moments ago. So it is working. Excellent. Okay, if you are enjoying everything that you've seen so far, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and also to like this video because when you click like, it will also help YouTube to spread the word and to let other people know that these kind of things exist. And so basically you will be making the world a better place. And so please click on the subscribe button and let's continue. Now, let's take this one step farther. And now I am going to create a new response. And so in this case, you see here that the options are C menu, restaurant, hours, place, order. So let's start with C menu. So C menu, C menu here, and I'm simply going to paste this text. Will be this one right here. And one thing that I want to do is as soon as they type the C menu, as soon as they click on the C menu button, I want to send them the actual menu. So I'm going to create here a response. It works. And now I'm just going to drag this and drop it here. C menu. Excellent. And actually, let's create the other three responses. Let's put here restaurant hours. Okay, we, we got this one. And now let's add the last one, which is place order. So just to clarify, this title that we're putting here is just a title for us. Nobody will see this, but the user response actually has to match whatever the user type. And so it is possible to use a button, but it is also possible for someone to simply type whatever I want them to type here. And if they do it, and if it matches what we put here, then it will trigger this response that you're seeing here. 
So the first thing that we're going to ask them if they want to place an order is, what's your name? That's it, let's keep it simple. And now I'm going to put this one right here as well as this one. There we go. I'm gonna hit save here. So one thing that I want to do is I actually want to leave a comment here saying type menu anytime during the conversation to return to this menu. And also I want to, for example, if I wanted to, I don't know, let's say that I want to go back. In this case, I'm going to work with this one. But for example, if I had, let's say another child here and I wanted to return to this part right here, I simply, I can simply create here something like return. return to previous menu and that's it. So I'm just going to put this one here and you will see what it does in a moment. And actually here, let's put this interactive button. You will see all of this. You will see everything that I'm doing here in a moment. So I'm just gonna hit save and let's give this a try. So what happens if I click here where it says see menu? If I click here, you see that it does give me the menu, excellent. And so it says this is our delicious menu, what would you like to eat today? As you can see, our products are really inexpensive. Like you basically, like all you have to pay is just zero dollars and you'll be able to eat whatever you want. And now if I click here return, and you see that it takes me back to this initial menu. And now, for example, if I want to see the restaurant hours, then you see that it shows me this message. And for example, if I type menu, then you see that it takes me back to this page. And remember, we are using the keyword menu and this is something that we configure here in the settings page. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now, let's continue working on this part of this tree. And one thing that we want to do is, well, we're asking people for their name and let's say that they type their name. So I'm going to create a new response and the next one will be what we like to order. And I don't know, let's call, let's call this like to order. And in this case, we're going to accept, or actually we're going to accept any message because if someone types their name, whatever they type, we'll just treat it as their answer and then we will move on to the next a response and so let's do it like this what would you like to order create response and the last one will be thank you we will confirm your order in a few minutes and so i'm just going to put it here confirm and again we're going to accept any kind of answer create response and i'm just going to drag this here and confirm as well. So you see here that essentially, like if they say that, that they want to place an order, we're going to ask for their name, then we're going to ask them what they would like to order. And the last thing that we're going to ask them is, uh, well, we're not going to ask them anything, we're just going to say, thank you, we'll confirm your order in a few minutes. And so at this point, actually one of our uh, employees, uh, one of the, people that is working here in the restaurant will just take this order and they will just make sure that this is being a process and being prepared for our customer. And so once they reach this point, then a real human, I mean, a real human, that sounds weird, but a human will simply read this message and they will make sure that, that the kitchen starts preparing this order. And so let's leave it like this. I'm going to hit save. And now... If I click here where it says place order, let's see what happens. So you see that it does ask for our name. So Juan is Garcia. What would I like to order? Well, in this case, I just want to, I want a hamburger. And thank you, we'll confirm your order in a few minutes. Great. And so, one thing that I want you to see is that actually all of the conversation that we've been having, it's available here. And so you see that that it, that it is possible for someone just to read this conversation in real time while the bot is answering all of these messages. 
And it is also possible, let's say that, for example, you want to uh, is continue this conversation and you don't want the bot to handle this chat. And so for that, you can simply use here what the, this button that says disable chatbot. And you see that, that the chatbot has been disabled for this contact for 24 hours. And so I actually want to re-enable it. And but yeah, you see that, that this is actually working just fine. And you also have the ability to, for example, tag this contact. And I don't know, let's say that this is a lead. I mean, you can actually create like labels specifically for a restaurant. And you see that, that I just labeled this one. And so at least with this, you will be able to, for example, tag this conversation and to make sure that, for example, if, 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 this, is converse, if this conversation is supposed to be handled by someone in your team, then you can just tag it with that person's name or you can just call it depending on, on like the status of this lead or if it's a customer. I mean, you can actually use whatever you want here. And for example, if I want to say something like, hey, your order is being prepared. If I wanted to do something like that and send, I don't know, this, whatever, then you see that I also get the messages and it works just fine. All right, so as you just saw, having these kind of chatbots in your business can be a super powerful tool because with this, you are literally able to save yourself a lot of time and you can actually reduce the amount of people that you need in your business because with this, you will be able to take conversations in real time. And even if you are not there, and even if you have to let people waiting for some time until you get back to them, at the very least, they will see immediate feedback. And each time that they send you a message, they will be able to get a real response in real time. If you are interested in using this kind of tool in your business, if you are interested in using a chatbot, if you are actually interested in using Wasapi in your business, then you can actually sign up for an account here and I will leave a comment here in the comment section as well as in the description of the video and you'll be able to sign up for an account to start using the power of the WhatsApp Business Cloud API in your business. And actually, this is not the only thing that you can do with WhatsApp. You can send mass messages, you can actually send bulk messages to all of your customers, you can create marketing campaigns, sell campaigns, you can also connect this to your own application. If you are a developer and you are developing your own application, you can actually use it because WhatsApp comes with its own API as well as with Webhook support. And also you can integrate with make, well, actually you can do a lot of different things. And so if you're interested in using this in your business, again, just click on the button below and sign up for an account. Okay, so I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you learn a lot. And if you are interested in learning more about these specific topics that we are covering here, and in particular about the WhatsApp Business API, I want to invite you to check out the channel because here you are going to find a lot more videos about these topics. And also, I want to invite you to watch this next video that you're going to see here because it will actually help you to take your business to the next level. Thank you until the next time.